Good morning Maurice, this is Simon from Trinity Auto and uh, as promised today I just wanted to show you a quick video on the Subaru Forester XT Premium. There she is. Uh, so this is the 2012 Subaru Forester XT Premium um, with 37,000 Ks on the clock. Almost 38 now but 37. So 2012 with 37,000 Ks is pretty low. I would expect it to be somewhere six years old, somewhere between 60 and 90,000. So um, yeah, 37 is definitely a nice um, low mileage there on that car for you. So this is a two liter four cylinder uh, turbo and it is the premium model as well. So it does have a, a load of features on there, which I will go through and show you. Uh, but firstly, I just wanted to show you the uh, condition of the outside of the vehicle. So just starting here, um, we have a, a nice, nice shiny flawless bonnet. Um, no dings, no scratches, she's pretty good there on that bonnet. Um, looking at the front, we've got all the chrome intact on the labeling, which is very good. I don't see many stone chips at all, uh, fly squats, she's in pretty good condition there. So yeah, just having a look at the side now, uh, I'll just see if you can see the profile there, um, just to show you that it is nice and straight, there's no dings, no dints in that side that I can see there, so that's good, no shopping trolley marks at the supermarket, that's what we want to see. Uh, just looking at this tyre here, we have a flawless alloy wheel too. Uh, not suffering from any gutter rash, which is pretty good. Um, and the tyres, of course, nice nice tread on the tyres there. Moving along, uh, looking at these panels, uh, she's in pretty good condition this, I can't see any scratches here. Uh, no dings, no blemishes, no scratches, it's pretty good. Quite flawless really, it's very, very rare that we find a uh, used car that's of showroom quality but I must say this one's pretty close uh, so that's pretty good um, just looking at the very first small little ding that I can see here there's a bit of a scratch that accompanies a very small ding there yeah, not sure you can see that uh, but yeah moving on got some good tire on the back and again a nice flawless alloy rim uh, that little ding there is the first one that I've seen it's pretty much the only one too so that's pretty good moving to the back Again, we've got a nice uh, good tailgate here. Sometimes we get a lot of uh, luggage marks and stuff on the back, but that's pretty good. Very small scratch there, there, but pretty, apart from that, it's in good condition. So that's good there. And this back panel, again, good condition. No scratches, no dents, which is pretty good. Uh, we've got a nice tinted back window here for you. Uh, moving down the other side now. It's, it's pretty gun barrel straight, uh, there's no dings in this side. There are a few blemishes scratches wise, uh, which is probably the worst part of this car. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see, just a little bit of very light scratching there on the uh, petrol cap. And just again on this panel, there's just a very couple of light scratches, which I'd imagine would polish out quite well. So um, yeah, I think that's the only flaws I can see on this car. So it's not too bad at all. Uh, yeah, this back tire. Again, immaculate alloy, good good tread on the tyres, and uh, yeah, you can just see these little scratches here that I just pointed out. Uh, but apart from that, you know, she's pretty good. Um, again, very light on the just on the front, but again, this should polish out, not a problem at all. So yeah, just a little bit of um, cosmetics on this side, but. The rest is pretty good on the outside, she's, she's in pretty good condition. Um, so yeah, I'll just um, show you a little bit inside the vehicle. Start at the back here, we have an electronic tailgate being the uh, premium version. We've got a few bells and whistles on this one. So yeah, there's your electronic tailgate just going up there now. To reveal the boot space. As you can see, there's plenty of space in here. Uh, we have 12 volt outlet for your fridges and what whatnot. And then obviously the seat dropping mechanism, which I must say is uh, quite easy. Just uh, flip the little switch here and wash. There you go, seats go down pretty well. That headrest there has just stopped it from going completely flat. I'll just sort that out. You can see how flat these seats go. There you go. So as you can see, it's pretty flat there. Uh, all the seats go down, which will extend that boot space. But um, 
yeah, just gives you lots of extra space and it is quite flat, which is good. Uh, so yeah, just moving through the vehicle now. Just have a look at the condition of the back seats here. We've got obviously a nice comfortable armrest in the middle for the guys there. A couple of drinks holders in there. Nice leather interior. Looking at this um, leather too, it is in good condition. It's uh, pretty flawless. I don't see any scuffs or cracks or, or wear marks or anything like that on the leather. It's it's uh, in pretty pristine condition. I, I dare say that um, we might not have even had anyone sat in these back seats in its life. So that's pretty good. Good condition there. Just move you around to the front cab here. Just having a look at the door, we've got some good sized speakers in the door there, so she's got a good sound system, this one. Again, nice leather, everything, and um, pretty flawless condition on the passenger door. Just got your service books out here ready, but uh, let's have a look at the seat. Again, she's in flawless condition, no, no scuffs, no scrapes. No cracking, no wear, it's, it's what we want to see from a, a nice used car. So yeah, just having a look around this cabin. She's in pretty good condition. Again, down here on your gearbox selector. There's no scratching there, we often find a little bit of scratching down on that plastic there. People's jewellery just uh, scuffing the place, but this is pretty good. Nice condition. You got your X mode there, which um, Obviously it just softens the suspension a little bit when you're on the unsealed roads. Uh, you have heated seats. Um, probably wouldn't use them so much here in Cairns, but maybe down there where you are it might be the right time of year to activate those. Um, nice good heads up display unit. We have dual aircon here uh, on the left and the right which changes the temperature independently so there's no arguing about the uh, temperature settings if you're anything like me and my missus. Certainly has a good conversation about that. Uh, but yeah. Moving forward, this steering wheel's in good condition too. We often find a bit of wear on the steering wheel, especially with the older cars, but looking at this, yeah, just a tiny bit on the top there, but apart from that, it's in flawless condition. Uh, again with the driver's seat, that's often where we find the wear, just especially on this side here. You see a little bit of cracks there, but it's, nothing's gone through at all, so that's still got plenty of life left in it. Uh, usually that's that's a good indication of uh, wear in the car, but that one's pretty good, that. Looking at the rest of the seat, again, flawless. It's pretty good. Obviously you've got the uh, nice silver pedals down there. And again, that, that footwell's in good condition. No scrapes, tears or scuffs or anything like that. She's, she's pretty good, this one. So, um... Before I fire her up, I'll just have a quick look at the books while I'm here. Uh, we obviously have the warranty and maintenance schedule, which I'll go through in a second. Uh, owner's manual here. Uh, owner's manual supplement for the uh, navigation system. Uh, supplement for Australia. And then we have the eyesight system, uh, which is all the year, um, bells and whistles, your lane drift and collision detects, all that stuff. So that tells you all about that there. So you've got a full set of books there, and uh, looking at this warranty, I'll just show you quickly. I'll cover up the person's name, uh, but um, as you can see, this is a local local car, locally owned. It was bought from us, our Subaru section, uh, when it was brand new, and yet yeah, just one local owner here. So it, as you can tell, you know, you know that it's not done that many cases for its age, but yeah, because it was a local owner, it's just done a little bit of light around town driving. Uh, so I'll just have a look at this um, service for you. As you can see here, there are all Subaru stamps. So yeah, it's all been done by a proper authorised Subaru dealer. Um, and looking at it, it's, it's really, really good immaculate service here. So you can see that's 10,000, 17, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. So if you can see the, the most recent there, 36 is done in the 125 Ks box. So as you can see it is immaculate service. It's been done every few Ks, a few thousand Ks, like less than five in, in a lot of instances, which is awesome. The book actually indicates, you know, it should have been done 87,500 every 15. Sorry, every 12 and a half. But it's actually been done, you know, 
every less than five so that's a really really immaculate service history we very very rarely find service histories like that but you can obviously tell that the previous owner put a lot of care and uh, ownership into this car and um, yeah kept it in very good condition so yeah that's just your service books and stuff um, whilst I'm on the side I'll see if you can have a look underneath the car uh, I'm not sure how well you can see there without me actually getting under it but um, hopefully we can see that there's no rust everything's nice and uh, in place shiny clean metal hopefully I've not actually got underneath and had a look myself it's a bit of a crawl but uh, hopefully we'll see that everything's in good condition here yeah. I'll check that out on the video once I upload it hopefully everything should be good Okay, so I think I'll move around to the driver's side and uh, actually start her up for you. Um, this car is uh, a keyless entry, keyless ignition system, so you can just keep that in your pocket and when you when you get close, we'll lock her up. It won't let me lock it with the boot open, I'll just close that for you. Automatic tailgate, there's your button. Yeah, so the car will lock now. There you go. And uh, I'll just put the key in my pocket. Just go to the door. And as soon as you put your hand, as soon as you put the hand behind the handle, it senses you there, senses the keys close, and it unlocks it for you. So if you've got a handful of shopping and stuff, that's a very good feature. I really like that. You can keep the key in your pocket, in your handbag, whatever, and uh, never, never get it out again, which is great. So um, as you can see, Engine start, just need to have my foot on the brake, hit the button. And she fires up. Just turn that music down, sorry about that. Alright, so you can see that we're on 39,000 Ks there. Very good. And then you've got obviously your heads up display, oh sorry, no, your information panel above the heads up display. I just told you all your climate control stuff and there's, there's extra displays there. You can go about G-forces and all sorts of configurations for the car there. A little bit too much in depth for me to go into right now, but certainly uh, many features with regards to that there. And it gives you the heads up display, you just have to agree to the uh, disclosure on the maps. There you go. And um, it seems to be a little bit dark at the moment. I wonder if that's. I'll probably be a little bit a little setting there, which we can change. But yeah, as you can see, that we've got the maps there. That comes in the premium version. Um, the the lesser specs don't really have that. Um, you find that in all the top of the range models. Uh, we also have the reverse camera there. Uh, this is a good one in that you can see the back of the car know exactly where you're uh, backing up to that's a good thing there some of them don't don't show that so it can be quite difficult negotiating that but that's pretty good uh, just having a look at the steering wheel here you've got all your media controls to the left obviously your telephone uh, indicating that we have a Bluetooth here you can answer your calls and stuff uh, cruise control just just information sorry I know that's your um, information for the um, display panel at the top there um, just behind that you can see we've got paddle shift uh, so if you put it into uh, manual push it down to drive and click it across to the manual that activates your paddle shift mode so you can uh, keep it in second gear if you like towing your caravan up the hill uh, whichever uh, so yeah that's a nice feature there just moving to the right of the steering wheel you've got the, the cruise control there uh, your distance, distance settings that's a really really good feature uh, your sports modes. I um, I actually used the cruise control on this, and um, this button here sets the distance between the car, you and the car in front. Um, so you can just say how how far behind you want to be. And I, I was uh, following a car down the road at, with cruise control on at 60, and the car in front of me decided to uh, slow down and make make a turn off the road, and my car decided to slow down with it as well. And it, we would have stopped completely had I have not gone round the car. So that's a that's a really good. Uh, cruise control feature in, the, in that it slows down to match the car in front as well. Um, so yeah, you've got all your automatic 
window settings here and uh, your mirrors.